Okie dokie. Well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, this was kind of a, a slam bang dash, uh, quickie dicky put together job because, um, I'm anticipating that kind of like last week around mid, I'm guessing around midnight, they, my, uh, my ISP charter spectrum, they might be doing, uh, doing planned maintenance, even though they give me no warning about this, but they might be doing planned maintenance. On, um, on my internet, which means I'll be shutting it down for at least an hour. So I want to get this cast done, and I want to get it uploaded to YouTube before that happens. So, so like I said, this is a rush job, and and don't don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there. Um, kill a few windows here real quick. Okay, so but anyway, um, this is gonna be uh, a drive in Burnsville, Minnesota. Um, and I I don't wanna I don't wanna kill the window here, but this is actually from a channel named uh, Vibe with Mike, V I B E, uh, with Mike. Uh, he does he does these various uh, driving tours. Um, does them in Minnesota, Austin, Texas. I think he does them in Chicago, Illinois as well. So, but but yeah, um, I, I need to I need to subscribe to this guy if I hadn't done so. Anyway, let me go ahead and get it going. Okay, so, um, to start with, just like usual, um, start off my day by uh, doing a pinball stream, which, um, this is, uh, this is actually, uh, on one end, it was pretty great stuff. Okay, mistake number one, I'll just call it, but yeah, on one end, yeah, the, the session itself, the session itself went awesome. Um, just FX3 was actually uh was actually pretty hot and cold. Like there was no middle ground. Uh, as far as all the attorneys go, I think I did uh I either got first or second in them, or I got dead last or close to dead last in others. So like I said, I wasn't uh definitely wasn't mid tier today. Um, okay, there's the other car. I was about to say, um, you know, buddy, it's only a stop sign. If there's no other cars, no oncoming. If there's no oncoming traffic, just go. So, man, I could, I could probably talk about, I could probably talk about traffic here for a long period of time, but like I said, I kind of need to get this uploaded before midnight. So, anyway, but yeah, as far as the, uh, the FX3 tournaments go, uh, either... Either I was great or I was bad. So, like, there wasn't any middle ground this time. Um, Pinball Arcade, uh, just like yesterday, I did pretty damn awesome. In fact, uh, I think, uh, I think I even beat a high score, too. One of my old high scores that, for the longest time, I never even come close to beating. So, uh, so, did great on that. Um, I think I did, I think I did like two or three more tables after that but again it uh it lasted the session lasted over an hour so yeah that was, that was pretty damn good like it wasn't like a couple days ago where i was so freaking awful that i ended up bailing out like five ten minutes in hey there's some pretty unique lights they uh fade in and out okay but anyway i'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. But yeah, like I said, did great on Pinball Arcade and basically did all right on FX3. So, and then um, Zachariah, like yesterday, um, because uh, because I was on so long on Pinball Arcade, I and my cutoff time was approaching. I didn't really play a whole lot of Zachariah. I think I just did like. Like one or two tables, and that was it. So, ah, uh, but the bad part of the session, yeah. So FX3, oh, it's back to crashing again. So I just, I got about a, perhaps a, perhaps worse, it's crashing like in the middle of the session. It wasn't like before where, it would um, uh, the game would crash within seconds of me starting it. 
the very moment a table pops up and, you know, it just shuts down after that. Like, no, this is actually worse. It starts up, or it, it was crashing in the middle of the session. So, I'd be in the middle of a middle of a tournament in a... Yeah, I remember it. It was a party zone. I was actually doing pretty damn good on it, too. Doing pretty good. Um, all of a sudden, the game just up and crashes on me. So, yeah, I was a little miffed about that. And, and hell, even uh, even Pinball Arcade crashed. But luckily, it only crashed one time. But it, it worked fine after that. So, and at this point, I'm pretty much out of options now. So, I... Best case scenario, even though I don't see it working. Um, one of my other viewers, like, back about a week ago when FX3 was crashing on a consistent basis... He was saying it's probably a graphics card issue. Like, it's time to be replaced. Um, but even, even the graphics card that I have in there now is actually a replacement for the previous one, and it's, uh, it's causing my whole computer to restart. Basically, a type of crash. It would, it would, uh, afterwards, it would come up as a fatal hardware error, basically meaning the, uh, the card's incompatible with my computer. So, best case scenario, and one of my other casts, I actually did this. I uh, I pulled, I went on Amazon, checked out other graphics cards. Um, there was one that uh, was almost exactly like the one I have. It's like a four gigabyte one. It's like two hundred dollars. Um, so that's actually the best case scenario. But like I said, even then, it's basically just giving you a, it's just basically giving a sh streaming pinball a new lease on life. So I'm still going to have to eventually buy another computer eventually. In which I really can't afford, so I'm basically stuck. Stuck like Chuck. Oh, and I did forget to mention too, um, I did a rinse and repeat of what happened of what happened before um i downloaded some drivers the same thing i did or the same thing i did before downloaded some uh some graphics card drivers uh i think they're installed restarted the computer uh fired up the game again it seemed to work okay so i'll just just gotta hope that tomorrow it'll stay that way Um, but as far as that goes, uh, one other program I started watching, it's called Rugby Town Crossover Academy. It's, a, it's like a documentary that came out like a couple years ago. Um, it's about a whole bunch of these, uh, it's, I think it was, uh, it's the, it's about the Colorado rugby team that consists solely of non-rugby athletes, like football players, wrestlers, basketball players, etc. All these other all these other athletes coming together to learn to play rugby and then eventually um if if they pass the muster then they'll be getting uh rugby contracts to play for uh various major league rugby teams so watch part of that um yeah i forgot what i was gonna say but yeah watch watch part of that um I actually looked up Major League Rugby uh, on the wiki, uh, um, but it's like, it's like they're, uh, all the teams, they're all coastal, like there's no, there's no inland teams, so I'm hoping one day that'll change, because right now, and I think I said this yesterday too, um, I'm, I actually do want to, you know, I'm actually interested in watching, uh, Watching uh, Major League Rugby matches, but the problem is, as far as the uh, the current matches go, like the ones that are, excuse me, the ones that are playing now, they're they're only available in highlights, like five ten minute highlights. They're not full matches. The only ones, the only full matches they have on YouTube, are the um, excuse me, are the older ones. So, but uh. Fortunately, um, 
I did do a little bit of research, and I eventually found a rugby network. And um, you can um, you can watch you can watch the full matches. You can watch the full matches on there. And I'm uh, I was actually expecting to pay like a like a subscription of some kind. Nope, it's free. Uh, totally free. I uh, never knew that. So got on there. Uh, I think I created an account, and I'm about. And I'm about to watch some, uh, some, uh, I think it's, uh, New York versus Toronto. Uh, I just, just picked a game at random. Again, they don't have a, they don't have a Major League Rugby team in Minnesota, so I'm, as far, uh, so that meaning I couldn't give two shits what game I watch. So my heart's not going to be fully invested in it. So like I said, I just picked. Uh, Toronto and New York at random. So, but um, but going, going back to Crossover Academy, um, one thing that a lot of the players did say on there is they had to relearn how to tackle. And um, I think, I know the football players were saying it. I can't remember if any of the other athletes were saying it, but. Football players pretty much had to unlearn everything they learned in football because all the things they do in uh, rugby are totally different. So, which again, um, it kind of goes back to kind of goes back to sort of kind of what I was talking about yesterday. Rugby is uh, rugby is my all-time favorite sport now, and that's one of that's uh, one of the one of the reasons why rugby is my favorite because there's. There is almost no American influence at all in this game. I mean, it was a sport that originated in England. It originated in England, um, and for some reason I don't understand, but New Zealand, they took to the sport like a duck to water. So these are countries that are, you know, obviously un-American. So. So the, the rules, the laws, the mechanics of the game, um, totally un-American and, and kind of as a weird sort of kind of side note, and I do kind of need to cut this short, um, kind of a weird side note. Um, it's also one of the reasons why jazz is my all-time favorite music genre, um, along with dungeon, and to a lesser extent, dungeon synth. Because cause, uh, jazz is an exclusively black, black invention like it's basically Af it's basically African in origin, so totally out American. Uh, dungeon synth, uh, I believe, got its start in uh, in Norway. So it's kind of my it's kind of how I travel without traveling. Oh, where what place is this? Oh, and I forgot to mention too, um, I've only been to Burnsville in passing, like driving along the highway, that kind of thing. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually been anywhere in Burnsville. I just picked this one because I typed down Vibe with Mike, and it was the first thing that came up. So, but yeah, that's, but. Again, kind of go, kind of rewinding back a bit to what I was talking about here a few minutes ago, um, but yeah, all these uh, American football players, but they they all said the same thing. It's the way you tackle, the way you do stuff, is just totally unlike what they've learned in football. But uh, a lot of them are liking it. But I've only watched maybe like the first 10, 15 minutes of this documentary. You know, and as as they do in other documentaries, they uh, interview these players after a day of training and uh in case i didn't say at the at the start of this uh at the start of uh at the start of this part these um these uh, athletes once they've completed their training and uh if they uh, show that they're competent enough in rugby like in their fundamentals they're going to get a contract to uh to play for uh one of the other major league rugby teams so it sort of kind of this sort of kind of works like American Idol. So, 
but but yeah um I'm just but otherwise I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here like I said I need to get this video uploaded to YouTube be before midnight because there's gonna be that chance that uh they're gonna shut down my internet for maintenance so I uh, kind of need to hop to it and right on time um that's usually this is the length of time I like to do my cast it's close to 15 minutes as possible so I'm almost right on the money so but but otherwise hey thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me everybody I appreciate that always do and um I should be able to do I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow which will be my last one for the week so but until then thanks again for coming by everybody and see you all next time bye for now